Debugging is about 50% of software development. You should learn as much about debugging as you do about writing code. So many developers sorely neglect the power of debugging and don't learn enough about debugging. As such, their ability and their knowledge of learning code is compromised. What you have learned so far about debugging is the absolute basics, a taster and a toe in the water of what's to come. Let's test your knowledge of the foundations of debugging, as it's very important to get a good foundation when learning. As always, let's aim for 100% correct answers here, and let's jump straight in. How is the term debugging used in the industry? Is it when using a debugging tool, when writing test code, or when investigating issues without a debugger? Now this is the term that software developers typically use in the real world not the paper definition. And the answer is, when using a debugging tool and when investigating issues without a debugger. It's incredibly common in the software world to use the term debugging when we are trying to find a problem in code by any means necessary, not technically when using a debugger as such. Next up, how do we start debugging? Do we press F6, press F5, or press F10? Now again, there are multiple ways to do this, but only one of these is the correct answer here. And the answer is, of course, press F5. Next up, how do we set a breakpoint? Do we click the line number, double click the grey bar to the left of the line, or single click the grey bar to the left of the line? Now this is when you want to add a breakpoint to code, somewhere for it to stop on. And the answer is to single click the grey bar to the left of the line. This adds a breakpoint. What colour is the line when a breakpoint is hit? Is it red, orange, or yellow? Now this one might be tricky. Pay attention to the wording here and the meaning of the words and let me know your answer. And the answer is yellow. Now some of you may be thinking another colour, but look at the sentence. What colour is the line when the breakpoint is hit? The definition of hitting a breakpoint means that the debugger has hit that line of code, paused the execution of your application and what's called broke into code, hence the word breakpoint. It means it's stopping execution of the application running and stopping the line right before executing the line of code where the breakpoint is. So the definition for actually hitting the breakpoint means this is the line of code that's about to be run. It has been hit and is about to be executed. And when that happens, the line turns yellow. So the next question, what color is a line with a breakpoint when it is set but not hit? So this is when we've added the line. Is it red? Is it orange? Or is it yellow? Now given the last answer, you should all get this one right. But let's double check everybody is paying attention. And the answer is, of course, red. When you set a breakpoint, when you first add a breakpoint to code, it turns red. So, when a line is yellow, what does it mean? Your code is paused by the debugger, that breakpoint has been hit, or that code line has yet to be executed. Again, we've only just spoken about this, so hopefully you will get this one right. And the answer is all three. Your code gets paused by the debugger. The breakpoint is classed as being hit. And that code line has not yet been executed, but will be the next line to be executed. So it's actually all three of these. How do we step over code? Do we press F6, press F5, or press F10? 
Now we did this many times in the lesson. So again, the key here is to make sure you are listening to the terminology used when we were stepping over code, what were we doing and pressing. And the answer is F10. To step over code, we press F10. Now the term step over, you will learn more about debugging when we do methods and you execute methods. When you hit a statement with a method in, if we were to press F11 instead of F10, the debugger, instead of running all the code inside the method and moving to the next line, would instead move the debugger inside of that method and you would start stepping line by line inside of the code. So to step over simply means to not go inside of methods, to stay inside the current method you are in and simply run all code in one go if you were to step over. You will learn more about this in future lessons. Next up, how do we run our code to continue until the next breakpoint is hit? Do we press F6, F5, or F10? Now this is once a breakpoint has been hit and we want to allow the program to just run as normal again until another breakpoint is hit. And to do that, it's simply F5 again. So we can press F5 to start the program and start debugging the program. We can also press F5 if a breakpoint is hit and we want to simply now continue the application as normal instead of continuing to debug the application. Second to last question, what does the red value in the watch window mean? Is it the value has changed since the last step evaluation, the value has an error, or the value has not changed? So this is the watch window when we are inspecting variables while debugging and their values as they change. And the answer is, the value has changed since the last step evaluation. As we saw when we stepped over the code to set the first variable, it changed to red when the value updated. And then when we continued to step through code, it went back to white because nothing had changed since the last step. So let's try the last question now. What does the locals window show? Is it any variables we are watching? All variables available in the current scope? or all variables in the application. So this is the locals window, not the watch window, and we did cover this. Let's see if we can get the last answer right. And the answer is all variables available in the current scope. Now I did mention this, that the locals window adds all variables that are available in the current scope. You don't know about scopes yet, but you will. The watch window shows any variables we are watching. The locals window shows all variables that are inside of this line of code, meaning variables we could access inside of the scope. And all variables in the application is certainly not covered in any watch window. You have to add them explicitly to watch specific variables. So this last one was, again, more for people paying specific attention to small details. So if you got this one right, give yourself a pat on the back. If you got less than 100%, go back and watch the lesson, take the test again until you get 100%.